angels welcome back to my channel and hello and welcome if you're joining me for the first time my name is Tara and I do makeup tutorials and things like that here on my channel so if that tickles your fancy then please I upload videos once a week here on my channel mainly on a Friday and yeah so this is the look that I've come up with today. I have collaborated again with my beautiful friends in my collaboration group. I'm collaborating with Shelly Shalaka, Candice Hampton, and the Curvy Cuban. And in today's video, we're bringing you June Bug. So it's bug inspired makeup. I've gone with the Queen Bee herself because I'm absolutely terrified of bees. Now I'm going to try and get over my fear of bees and I've got over my fear of clowns by painting it on my face because why not? So guys, this is my interpretation of June Bug. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, the bees are not perfect but it's makeup, no makeup's not perfect. But I'm absolutely over the moon how this has turned out. So yeah, I love it. So if you'd like to see how I created this look today, then please just keep on watching. So just jumping straight in guys, I've already prepped my face and done my skincare. Um, so I'm gonna just do brows. So I'm just gonna quickly whiz through them because they take forever. So just like that, brows are done. I'm gonna be using my P. Louise in Ruma 0.5 to carve them out. So just gonna use a little bit of tape to do like a nice winged out effect. Um, the palette of choice is going to be my James Charles palette. Um, so yeah, not the carnival palette. We'll jump back to James and I'm going to be using this beautiful yellow which is called B, which is so fitting with this look. And yeah, we're going to just jump straight into B. So taking the Zoeva 227 shader brush, I'm gonna go into the shade 518, which is an orange shade. I'm then gonna go back into the B shade and blend that out even more. Because we lost a bit of that yellow. Then taking the Jessup 226 smudge brush, I'm just going to cut the crease using the P. Louise base. So now I'm gonna take this little pigment pot and this is from Primark. So it's just an eye pigment and it's in the shade Gold Champagne. And there's quite a lot of fallout, so this is why I've done the eyes first and not the face. Just so we don't end up in one big giant mess. And I think these pigment pots from Primark are about a pound each and they're just so beautiful. So to do the liner, I'm going to do quite a dramatic wing. So I'm going to use this little gel liner from Stila and I'm just going to apply that and hope for the best. So with these I like to use a winged liner brush and I'm just going to spritz that with the setting spray just to get it all nice and damp and then I'm just going to pop some onto the brush. okay guys I think we've actually done it Lovely. 
So I'm just going to use some Audi face wipes, baby wipes. And I'm just going to clean up any fallout and any mess. And then we're going to go straight on to the face and come back to the eyes. So I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. We're going to finish off the eyes. And as you would have seen in the intro, I'm going to attempt to draw bumblebees on my eyes. So, well, on my face. So let's bring you guys in and let's hope for the best that it actually turned out okay. So I'm going to be using my Galactic Eyeliner in Jet Black. I'm just going to go for it. We're just gonna go for it, guys. So I'm gonna start off with this eye and I think I'm gonna bring the bumblebee down to about here. So I'm gonna start off by doing the little dots on the crease. So I've changed eyeliners to the Maybelline Ma Master Ink Liner because this is more of a wet liner. And I'm just going to do those dots. I'm just going to tap that make the bumblebee And that's one little B. I think that's okay for a start off. I mean, my hand was shaking all the way doing that bumblebee. I'm going to repeat that on the other eye. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow and run that under the under eye. So I'm going to take that B shade. And I'm just going to run that under the under eye. with that i've never drawn bees on my face before so yeah i think they look cute so i'm just going to take a little bit of this liquid highlighter and i'm putting that in the inner corners of my eyes i'm just going to apply a little bit of that in the inner corner and then I'm just going to take some of this holographic glitter. This is just from Paint Glow and it's in Disco Fever. And I'm just going to pop just a couple of little random glitters. Because we have to have glitter, of course. And I'm just going to pop that just on the inner corner. Just going to curl my lashes with my Primark eyelash curler. Really need a new one, but I'm too scared to go to the shopping centre at the moment because it's only just opened in the UK and it's crazy busy and I don't want to go. For mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris X Fiber False Lash Effects XXX Mascara. So I'm going to use 
side one, which is just a normal mascara. And then part two is the other side of the, <coughs> oh, excuse me, the other side of the mascara, which lengthens your lashes. I am going to be putting falsies on, even though I think I'm allergic to the glue. And I think that I need to buy myself some latex free glue. So the lashes of choice are these fluttery lashes from Amazon. These are in the style 020 and I will link all everything down below so i'm just gonna pop these on and we'll be back to the lips so i've had to swap to my phone because my camera has decided it's going to die so yeah um that's lashes on they were really good to put on not being not you know just because they're from amazon doesn't mean they're gonna be rubbish so i'm living for this look guys i really love it so the last thing to do is lips and for lips so the last thing to do is lips guys so i've got this lip combo from profusion they're in the shade imagine so i'm just going to apply that i'm going to apply the lip liner first and then the lip gloss after obviously not the lipstick the liquid lipstick And I picked this combo up from my local Home Bargains, which was like $1.99, I think. So, bargain. I'm absolutely living for this look, guys. I am so, so happy how it's turned out. So if you guys did enjoy this video, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We are nearly on 1,000 subscribers, guys. I can't believe it. I love you so much. And until next time, stay beautiful and stay safe. I love you all. Bye, guys.